Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brahim Umar. And in this tutorial, I will make this handle in SolidWorks. This would be practice exercise 31 of this playlist. And I will provide its file in the description link so you can download it uh, from there and you can practice. So let's go to the new, select part and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So first of all, as usual, I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MNGS. So let's first uh, draw this profile that is the uh, this rectangular profile in the top plane. So let's select this top profile, uh, top plane, select the sketch. And uh, here I will draw two, uh, sorry, two center rectangles. Say one rectangle here and one rectangle here. And uh, I will make a center line here so that I can use symmetric relation. Uh, let's select this point, uh, this one and this one. And now I can use this relation symmetric. Let's go to a smart dimension. Let's say this dimension is 50 millimeter. And uh, I will select this line. I will select this line and I will use this relation make equal. Similarly, this line and this line equal and this line and this line also equal. Uh, let's make uh, another dimension. Let's say from here to here and let's say it would be 150 units and uh, let's make uh, some fillets. Let's say 10 millimeter fillet to all these eight corners. I will select all these, select yes and select OK. Uh, now you can see that they are still underdefined. So I will select this point and I will select this origin and I will make them horizontal. Now you can see that this sketch is fully defined. You can see here as well, fully defined. I will exit this sketch and now our uh, rectangular profile is ready. I'll go to my part and uh, now I will draw this profile. Okay, this would be, let's say, uh, elliptical profile, this one. And I will draw this profile in the right plane. So I'll go to a SolidWorks and uh, I will choose this one, right plane, select a sketch, view normal and I will draw a ellipse here right in the center and uh, let's dimension this ellipse let's say this uh, major axis dimension is uh, 40 units and let's say this minor axis dimension is uh, half uh, that is 20 units and uh, I will select this point and I will select this one and I will make them vertical uh, let's say this dimension from here to here is uh, 60 units and I will select this point I will select this point and I will make them horizontal now you can see that this ellipse is fully defined and uh, you can see that the color of the sketch is turned into black which also means that uh, uh, a sketch is fully defined I will exit this sketch and uh, here I will draw uh, one side of the profile only and I will use mirror relation to mirror this profile onto here okay because uh, this would be symmetric so let's go to here spline and uh, i will draw one point here i will draw one point here and i will draw one point here let's connect this spline with these profiles i will select this point i will select this point and i will make them coincident similarly uh, here i will be using the pierce relation this point and this line and pierce and now i will give them some dimensions Let's say this handle would be horizontal and uh, let's say this dimension is uh, 80 units and let's say this dimension, let's say this point from uh, here to here is 60 units and let's say this dimension from here to here is uh, 75 units i have already calculated these dimensions and uh, i will draw one center line so that i can uh, uh, define some angle of this handle Let's say this handle angle is uh, 10 degree and uh, let's say this dimension let's say from here to uh, okay first make this handle Let's say this handle is uh, 130 and now I will draw uh, another dimension 
this one uh, first I have to make a center line let's make one center line here and now I can uh, define some angle let's say this angle is uh, 70 degree so this angle is 70 degree and uh, let's dimension this handle as well let's say it is 130 and now you can see that uh, this is fully defined and uh, I will mirror this profile onto here so let's go to a mirror entities uh, entities to mirror is this one mirror about the center line and now you can see this preview select ok and exit this sketch and now you can see all these profiles uh, now I can use loft feature to create this uh, handle so let's go to your surfaces and under surfaces I will use this one loft lofted surface if you don't find this tab just right click go to your tabs and select this one let's say this one uh, it is already checked so let's go to your lofted surface first I will select this profile then this elliptical profile and then this profile for the guide curves I will use this curve so let's go to your profiles I will select this one closed select ok similarly this profile and lastly this profile now you can see this preview uh, for the guide curves I will use this one and now you can see that the preview of your handle uh, for the constraints let's say I will use uh, this one normal to profile and uh, let's say end constraint also normal to profile Here you can choose uh, this uh, draft angle or uh, this uh, uh, tangent length this one but I will uh, leave uh, this to one and select ok and now you can see that your handle is created using uh, loft command uh, so it is a surface body let's say I want to convert this uh, surface body to a solid body so let's go to your thicken and uh, it is just a single surface so I can use this uh, thicken uh, directly I will select this one and uh, let's say 2 mm thickness uh, thickness uh, only one side you can see this preview one side from middle and from uh, uh, inside I will use this one and I will select ok and now you can see that this surface body is converted into solid body and lastly I will apply some appearance to this handle so let's go to your appearance and uh, under metal let's say I will choose uh, this one polished copper and now you can see that this uh, uh, appearance is applied onto this handle so uh, that concludes this uh, exercise uh, I hope you like it and uh, uh, if you have any question any query uh, related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects thank you